don't play h5. Please unlock because okay, yeah. So this is a round. This is a round two game. These guys are way ahead. All right. Slayer. Let me just quickly change this then. It looks like I've just been dragged into <laughs> round two. So you're in trouble. I'm now playing against. Don't play H5, who won their game against Passion. Or oh, Passion, how do you pronounce it? Let me really quickly. Look at that. Okay. We'll see what's going on. We don't have any overshell grabbers or anything. I'm not sure what happened that because I just missed it. But we'll stay on with whoever has the most exciting thing, which I think is probably going to be Boomy with the plasma launcher. Interesting to see if anyone goes for that launch that has just dropped. I don't think they're going to go for it. I'm pretty confident with just their pistols. These guys they did pretty well in my last tournament. The uh, 4v4 last Saturday. Cruz and uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce this guy's name, but we'll call him Sun for now. <laughs> Cruz and Sun did uh, pretty well in the 4v4. Six to one in the first couple of minutes. Proving that they can play 2v2 as well. Up. See if they go for this. I don't think they're too bothered about it, to be fair. Pretty confident in just using the standard weapons they were given. There we go. Should be a fairly easy grab considering there's two teammates down here for the blue. Right, it'll go. We'll swap over to the player with the overshield and see how many kills you can get with this. There's the first one on Boomy. The second player is right in the same place. These two blue players in this red base should be able to collapse on the remaining player. Just looking out for him. Bit of a struggle, but he should get there in the end. There we go. That's two kills and it's depleted already, but it's 10 to 2. They're not too bothered if they run out of overshield pretty quick as long as they stay in the lead, which they have done. And finally, the Primal Cluster grabbed it at a really weird stage in the game. It was left off sitting there for a minute and a half. But it has been grabbed by uh, the blue team. Let's see what Boomy can do in this situation and then swap over to blue. left in the uh, plasma launcher here we go nice little peek for us looks like there's two grenades left in there i'm gonna do a bit of damage with one of them but a bit of a difficult situation taken down there 10 seconds to plasma caster only exciting thing left on the map at the moment really is this uh, plasma pistol so we'll stay on with red team see if they can climb back a little bit I think Boomy will want to go for that launcher. It's the first thing he goes for every time by the looks of things. That's a bit painful. Won't be grabbing it. Blue just waiting for this next overshield grab. It looks like 14 to 4 is a pretty convincing lead about halfway through the game.
we'll just swap over to Chris. He's grabbed this other shield for the second time this game. We'll see how many kills he can pick up this time with it. It was two before. Ended up in a bit of a weird situation last time. We'll see if he can take out the roommate. Teammate comes in. And that again, pretty much the same. Couple kills with it. Look at the shark. Do do do. Well, I'd love playing on it. I know. <laughs> I know it's a difficult one, um, but a lot of other tournament hosts are doing it, allowing you know cross region, just so more teams get in. Obviously, I mean, you know, we're kind of short on players at the moment with Halo's situation. Everyone's just waiting around for stuff. So, just for the sake of. Longer tournaments with more people, we allow other regions in some of them, not all of them. You know, maybe once every two or three weeks, I'll let other regions play. It's still European focused. But it's all fun and games, it's free to enter. You can't really complain. a really nice kill. I thought that he was going to uh, die pretty quickly when his plasma pistol shot ran out, but he regenerated it pretty quickly. And there we go. I'm not sure how many overshields this uh, red team has had. Maybe one right at the start. Doesn't look like they are able to get many kills of it either. I've got five minutes to rack up ten kills. It's going to be pretty difficult. this base but both blue players are in here so they'll have to it's just outgun them oh okay now they can collapse on the remaining player inside here if they can find him it looks like they have done nice little two kills there just need to do the same again you know for the four spawn cycles and they'll be there of that play. We'll see if Boomy can drop down. Do anything about it? Not really. Just gonna try and pick up the kill. That should be one. We we'll just want to try and stay alive so his teammate can spawn up and they can work together to get this next kill. In ten. Just peeking around the corner to see if you can find anyone, but there you go. Heading out. All the players up. Gets into a 1v1. Team is going to come in and try and support. That's what I like to see. I don't think we're going to get a kill out of it though. No, Pumi's going to have to back away from that too with the blue players though. Let's scan through everyone else. We have a plasma pistol picked up. And that is about it. We have the, uh, the launcher again, it's just sort of sat there. Nobody really wants it. What everyone does want is this. The other shield. Second grab in a row for uh, Spectre. So the red team's actually coming back. I just need six more, which this can probably help with. Might be able to get two out of this. In the chat, there's the bracket. There's no command for it yet, so I just have to keep checking and I'll post it in if I see the command. I'll set it up next tournament. It's the one thing I forgot to do is set up a cloud bot or night bot. Alright, this is actually pretty close, but this would have been better a little bit earlier on because there's only two kills needed for the blue team. Maybe if Red can wait this out for another minute, we'll get another overshield and maybe they can climb back 
This is a gunfight you really need to win at the moment, though. That's an important time to need to reload as well. There's the first kill. That's. I wouldn't want to give away your position. You're going to have a really hard time getting the second kill now. How have they managed that? <laughs> All right, a couple seconds until we're going to get the final overshield as well, I think. So maybe Boomy will want to grab the Plasma Caster just to be safe. I'm going to turn on the outline so I know where people are just so I can get on board with something that's going on. Bit of lag. Nice kill. Both players on one shot as well. And there it is. Well, this is going to be close. Boomy needs to stay alive. He needs to stick with his teammates if he's caught alone. Alright, here we go. This is the final kill. They need to just rush in. They've got a little bit of overshield left. They need to go in together. Don't let Boomy get caught alone because he's the one with least health. He has wisely picked up the uh, plasma caster as well. I'm just going to keep on switching between people. This is the closest game that I've had in a while. One kill, 45 seconds. I would say that Boomy has the advantage. If he can get a hit marker on anyone with these, I would just start spamming these around and I think he's gonna fire a couple into random places. Here we go. He spotted someone. Is he gonna fire one to the end of the tunnel and see if he can pick him off? <laughs> nice. Doesn't get a hit marker with it though, so maybe that player's still in the middle. No, they're in the blue base. Is this going to go to a draw? Is anyone going to be brave enough? You can tell Boomy just wants to fire one in and then get a hit marker. And That is a nice collapse though. If you swap over, his players on one shot. There it is. <laughs> Switches to overtime and straight away. Two players on the red team collapse into the base. All right, that was a massive comeback. They were down by 11, I think, is the highest.